Hi everyone. <laughs> it's Get Real in the Kitchen with Deanna Olson and I'm here for a short uh, leftover spinach recipe which is spinach and cheese omelet. So just gonna, well first thing I do, and this is my om take on omelets, is I've got an 8 inch nonstick pan here which is it's really important to have nonstick, but if you've got a big, only have a bigger nonstick, that's just fine. Because I'm show, going to show you a couple techniques. I'm going to turn it on to medium high and let that start heating. Crack a couple of eggs. And then I'm um, going to put in some salt. And that leftover, well, first I want some pepper. That's plenty. You can, real, uh, you can overdo the pepper. And then a fork is just fine for beating your eggs, but I have a small whisk, so I like to use it for this, and you really don't need that either. There'll be some cleanup after this. And those are beaten, and so I'm going to add the spinach. And in this particular situation, the um, fork is probably good for dunking the spinach in there. So there you go, that's ready. And I happen to have some Monterey Jack cheese on hand, so I grated three tablespoons of that. But let me tell you, uh, Yo, cheese lovers, you could always put a little more cheese in. We're going to add that after the omelet's done. And what I like to do that's a little different, okay, so for one thing, a lot of people think omelets are a little bit too hard, out of the, out of the uh, realm of what they can, can do. They have, a, they have a bad rep for being too hard. And they couldn't be easier. So first of all, just take that. Uh, intimidation and attitude and set that aside. What I like this different is nonstick makes a it's a whole different ball game and you can use a bigger pan and I'll show you why. So I'm getting this good and hot and putting in the butter and that's about a teaspoon and a half of butter and you can use olive oil, you can spray the pan, but you and I both know that the butter adds a lot of, of flavor. And uh, then, and sometimes, you know, the pan can get good and hot, but what, what, what I'm doing a little different is I'm waiting for the pan to get hot and then adding the butter. Because some of the instructions will say put the butter in and then heat it up. So this really needs to be good and hot, medium high, and swirled around whatever uh, grease you're using. And I'm just going to put the eggs and spinach in there. And here's what I'm going to do. And um, I just tore the spinach up by hand. Um, and what you're going to do is so the traditional way to make an omelet is you if they say you have to have an omelet pan. It's not nonstick. It has to be a season and you're going to be flipping the omelet. We're doing none of those things. The other little treasure trove is the uh, silicone spatula that goes with your nonstick pans. And I will always tell you if something, if you need something, and as we, we continue to talk about all this, I do not, I am not into having every piece of kitchen equipment that you can possibly buy, because what you're going to see is a pan, a skillet, a few utensils, some bowls, and we're good to go much of the time. So in this case, I'm kind of lifting it up, right, so that uh, the egg will, liquid will spill over the side and get cooked. The, but the spinach in this case is kind of holding it, so I'm just going to tip it really good there. Tip, tip, tip. So it run, the egg runs down, and as it runs over to the side, it all gets cooked like that. And when it's 
you can lift under it and get under there and it's not break gonna it's got enough of a, a firmness to it that you can get a hold of it you're gonna flip it like a pancake like this and so what if it breaks it's still gonna taste fantastic and then we're gonna right away put our grated cheese in the middle And that heat is going to cause it to melt and flip it over and by the time you get it onto the plate cheese is going to get a time to melt so we're just going to put that omelet and it's ready to eat let's see how it tastes That's really good. So very simple with um, this kind of technique. With an, it's all about nonstick omelets. All about nonstick. And um, this is not our last omelet rodeo. There are so many ways to do omelets. So we're going to be doing this again from time to time. So I just pulled dinner out of the out of the oven. So it's cooled down and it's time to eat. So I will see you next time and. Always live from Denver. Bye.